Welcome to Blooming Business Casino. This is a tycoon management business game where we are gonna sit down and try and manage a casino and maybe, hopefully, the house always wins, but with me at the helm... <laughs> I'll try my best. Anyway, this is a sponsored video for Blooming Business Casino and there is a free demo going on on Steam, so if you'd click the link to check it out, uh, link provided down below or wherever, uh, and you can go ahead and just try the game for free. It's a free demo, no harm, no foul. Blooming Business Casino is a management tycoon sim set in a retro world filled with charming animal characters. Manage your own casino from HR to PR, design to operations. You'll need to learn about your clients' personalities, ambitions, and keep them happy and productive if you want to turn a profit with this casino anyway. And you'll be able to monitor everyone's specific needs and expectations so you can keep your clients happy. Different kinds of clients are going to want different things, not to mention VIP visitors. So customize and decorate your casino in line with what everyone wants, and you'll be able to optimize the design for traffic flow and efficiency. The game will also be fully moddable, where people can design and build their own items, decorations and characters and add those into the game. So, there's quite a lot here, and there's a free demo on Steam right now. Use the link down below, and it'll take you straight to the Steam store page, and you can try out Blooming Business Casino for yourself, and see if it's something that you'd like to wishlist. Anyway, let's go ahead and encounter Blooming Business Casino. All right, so this is a demo of the game, so it's a bit of a slice of what's going to be available. Uh, it's You can see mod support is going to be on the way, that's in the works. Um, options are currently just demo level of options. So graphics, separate audio sliders, already great. Uh, we could disable narrative events, but I think I'll leave them on. Now, let's go ahead and press play. I give you the instructions and spacebar does pause the game so let's do that insane graphics well it's as insane as this style gets we've got the anti-aliasing up but also this is a demo so that's not important right now this is the casino that we're going to be building we have the rough guidelines of what we're going to be doing up here uh, and there's a number of interesting ways of how this actually goes. I like it. It sort of works like a tycoon business thing where there's a store where you can buy various things for different areas like um, slot machines. Uh, what do we have? Trash bins, loose, small sinks, lockers, tiny palm trees. How much money do I have? 40,000. I'm going to buy a tiny palm tree. And there we go. We have a tiny palm tree. Yes, it's a tiny palm tree. <laughs> As you can see, it says casino on the front. Uh, so what we're going to do is follow these instructions and see how well we can do. Yeah, Let's unpause the game with our 39,800 in the bank. Month progression, speed options, casino reputation is 19. Uh, we got to hire custodians in the locker room area panel, rearrange the restroom area. And you can repair broken loose by yourself or let custodians do it. So, when you click on things, that's where you can hire the staff, right? So, hire a custodian, hire a guard. So, we need to hire a custodian. As with these games, staff have different abilities and traits. For example, Victor Quinn here is a smooth talker, sleepyhead cheater. Uh, this is in gambling uh, terms. But they also have phys physique, agility, awareness, intelligence, presence. Hmm. This one's just light-footed, very simple, but less agility, way less awareness, but more presence. This is jaded. <laughs> oh. Zero awareness and jaded. Mm. <laughs> Let's try Toby Moore here. There we go. We have our first staff. By the way, you can um, watch them fix things or you can fix things yourself. 
rearrange the restroom area. We can go to the design mode. And in design mode, it basically, you do rooms in this game, but they're not necessarily rooms. They don't have to have walls. They're just areas, right? That's how that works. Uh, let, let's just follow the instructions. Uh, ready to operate. So the, the loo's fixed. Uh, Custodian's going to fix these broken uh, slot machines. Uh, yeah, slot machines. Uh, next. Let's close that. Ready to operate. Quench your client's thirst. Use design mode to build a bar area. So design mode, new area, uh, bar. And then we can draw a bar area like that. Right? And then we go to the store and we want to put a classic bar. We can rotate to just do that, I think. Good. We'll close this and then we use the bar area to hire a bartender, which we could have. Let's not get a drunkard. Oh, drunkard but bottomless bladder. Maybe that, that cancels each other out. <laughs> Jaded sleepyhead, sleepyhead, amateur juggler, just sleep. Uh, these are not great choices. Sleepyhead and amateur juggler, that sounds like the perfect choice for a bartender. <laughs> That's gonna go fine, I'm sure. Uh, let's set up a games area because we gotta make money somehow. You can see the clientele there queuing up outside. By the way, yes, ev everyone is animals in this game. Toucans, uh, is that a puffin, I think? Um, who else do we have out here? Uh, we have raccoons, of course, raccoons. We've got uh, deer, antelope, uh, platypus, rabbit, hedgehog. Hedgehog, I think. Looks like Sonic. Okay. Uh, let's do design. Let's design a new area, card game area. Let's just have a nice big card game area right here. And we want to set up three blackjack tables. Let's go uh, one, two. Hmm. Three. Uh, yes, good. Can I perhaps just move this one over so that uh, impossible to align, but okay. Recruit dealers. Uh, croupier, uh, Peter Parrot, Sleepyhead Jaded, Party Animal Magician. Oh, let's get the Party Animal Magician in there. We have a Bodybuilder, yep. And a Mathlete at the card table, perfect. We'll be able to catch cheaters, I assume. <laughs> uh, uh, don't forget the secret surveillance room where they monitor and beat up cheaters. I do wonder, what, what rooms do we have? Uh, slots, dice game area, card game area, roulette area, arcade area, restroom, bar, break room. Okay, so this is a demo, so we don't know how many types of rooms they'll implement in the final version of the game, but there might be a <laughs> catch cheaters area. Okay, prepare the entrance area. Place a cashier's cage. Use the entrance area panel to hire the cashiers. So, uh, we, I think we got the store, cashier's cage. Uh, the, yeah, so we just have this right by the front. Good. Hire a cashier. Bibulous. Mathlete. Pickup artist. Drunkard. Bottomless bladder. Bottom. Incontinent. Bottomless bladder. Let's get Simon Schaffer here. There we go. Uh, Parrot? Parakeet? Thing? Open the casino. Uh, so close this. Select here. Open casino. There's a lot of people waiting to get inside. I've unlocked several items from the store. Nice. So we've got a lot of stuff already unlocked here. Greek divider. Tiki blackjack table. Flippers, dartboards, small chairs, standing terrarium. Okay. I love terrariums, so I'm just going to put one right there. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Yahtzee. Tiki flower. Does this go on a wall? So it does. Yes. Decorations. 
space lamp. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what, what the theme of our decor is going to be, but we'll figure it out. Uh, I have a surprising amount of animal variety so far. Yeah, what is this? A mouse? Harper Roberts. You can pick people up, by the way. <laughs> Put him down. Staff and clientele. Looks like a lot of people went straight to the uh, slots. We gotta get clients to spend a thousand dollars and get clients to play slot machines a hundred times to attract miners, not to miners, mi the, like the mining miners to your casino, not miners to your casino. That's that would be bad for business. <laughs> uh, is everything else fine? Yes. Yes, the restroom looks okay. Back here, we have a... Uh, this is just a relaxation area. What do we have? Restroom, bar, break room. Yeah, this is probably the break room. Employees break room. Currently locked. Do I want to hire a guard? Let's hire a guard. Uh, camel. Oh, drinks less, I guess. Cheater. Jaded. JCVD? I don't know what that means. Uh, bodybuilder, party, animal, sleepyhead. Well, at least a bodybuilder. Let's hire Amelia Melkor. What? What is this animal? That's a guard. It's an owl. It's an owl. Okay, figured it out. It's an owl. <laughs> Guards are owls. <laughs> the slots are randomly placed that's hurting your brain yeah okay hold on um i think i have to go to the design area let us expand the slots area so we can organize this a bit move area and items let's try and ooh event card counters the card counters are here. These professional blackjack gamblers aren't doing anything illegal, per se. But they are counting cards in your dealer's shoe and assigning uh, a probability to their bets. That way they can bet huge with less risk. And worse, they run in teams. And a team can drain your bank in a couple hours. How are you going to deal with them? Okay, they're going to sort of cheat, so are you. Put your sneakiest dealer at the table. Screw this, rough them up, toss them out. Uh, one of your dealers is on the spot. 70% chance that you gain 2% of your total income. 30% chance you lose 4% of your total income. It's not funny at all, but it's your only solution. Clients lose 0.4 fun. Let's make a check to back the counters off their game. Back them off. Do nothing. Let's see how this plays out. Yeah, let's rough them up. <laughs> Okay, we'll see if we can catch the, the card counters. Uh, now, I was rearranging these. Uh, let's put that there. One nice thing is because these are areas, not rooms, you can modify things without shutting down the whole area. There we go. Organized? Good? You guys like it? Right, it's not, it's not like, oh, I gotta edit this room and everyone has to leave the room. You know. Uh, so this this way you can just move things on the fly. Oh, custodian fixing the slot machine. Okay, good. Secure your treasury. Open the client panel to find out more about your miners. No miners are currently in your cas casino. Reach 60% satisfaction for miners. Oh, th this is a term for client types. Okay, I'm less familiar about how how client types are referred to in the casino industry, but in the north of the city, there's a large mountain with a coal mine. When coal was replaced by petroleum, the miners started making less money. Some of them left the town, others tried... Okay. Profile, progression. Although this is a French game, so some translations might not quite be finished, but we know what profile means. They prefer slot machines with low bets. It makes the, the night last longer. Special traits. How much money they roughly have. Saw losers. 
have 100 games of slot machines played in your casino and then they start spawning. Right. So these things, we can... We can change bet amount, return to player, slot machine revenues. So we can change the return amounts. Basically, adjust the dealer tie wins on or off. Single deck, double deck, four deck, six decks, eight deck. Okay, there's actually a surprising amount of options for for how these games are run i don't know how to maximize profit yet so we're looking for these sorts of deer characters which is not not them right yeah none are currently in the casino so i'm just gonna Boost the music a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I think we just have to uh, reach a casino reputation of 50. So we started at 19, I think. So we're going up to 29. Uh, slot machines do break pretty frequently. It looks like these are kind of always going. If I... Uh, slot machines. We, we can get other types of slot machines. How about... Games made in France slot machine. <laughs> Let's put one of those down. A space slot machine. And a tutti frutti slot machine. Then they've got some variety. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, someone just won. Okay. What else can we set up? Uh, we have the bar, break room, arcade area, roulette area, dice game area. Let's try to set up an arcade area. Just set it up here. Uh, areas. Arcade games. So we, we can have dartboards. We can have flippers and salt saltar the diviner just one of those there we go add some variety <laughs> so of course that's also an animal it's a snake oh they get their fortunes out of that thing evelyn bar is about to collapse due to Lack of the restroom. I will rush in there. It's not like we don't have a restroom. Reputation's up to 37, so it's going well. It's going well. Oh, is this... Is this one? <laughs> uh, three are in here. So we're trying to get their satisfaction to... 60. Um, I'm unsure how to... So this is, this filter down here is like decor, I think. Maybe I just need to decorate things a bit more. Decorations. Uh, okay, let's add some class. Trash bin, no. Can we put guards? Oh, you can just put gardens right in here. Looks a bit weird, but okay. Throw a couch down. If you're waiting for your friends in the restroom, okay. A bushy plant. Good. Maneki Neko. Plus three beauty. <laughs> yes, okay, good. Love it. Are these the developers? <laughs> oh, there's a Maru statue? Okay. On the other side. Yes! Exactly correct. 
Oh no, these are streamers. Portrait of French streamer. Ah, uh, yes. The developers are French, by the way. Pat Arthur, thank you so much for the 500. High Roller, who's a high tipper. High Rollers are always welcome. They bet big, lose big, and spread their wealth around the casino. The only problem is that when they are too generous, when they tip, the staff starts to revolve around them and get distracted from their normal duties, hoping for that $100 tip. Hit them in the pocketbook. Get your best dealer on them to make sure they are losing too much to tip. We could gain 5,000 or lose 5,000. Bury them in comps. Free drinks galore. Too drunk to play, too bad. Get them in their hotel room. Clients lose 25% of sobriety. You lose 3,000. Catch them cheating. Always risky. You're also throwing away future business, but you'll save yourself a few headaches. Let them ride. Staff lose minus two awareness for seven days. So these events... They're kind of gambles. <laughs> Bet 5,000. We could win or lose. Hey, I won. Okay. All right. The decorations actually sort of came together. So 60, uh, we are up to 41.8 on satisfaction. Reputation is... I think I want to remove this. It's kind of weird. Let's have that there. Of that there. Okay. Looking at this... Yeah, I kind of want to make sure people always have nice aesthetics. So let's let's keep decorating. I did make some money. Let's throw down a couple torches there. That should be good, right? Uh, small garden. Is there a door there? Does this block the door? This might block doors. So I'll be careful with that. Let's just have one of those. Put down some wall lights. Nah. Uh, let's put down a Greek divider. <laughs> okay. Greek divider it is. Brook Root is about to collapse due to its lack of thirst. Oh, thirst. Um, is the bar too full? Right. Let's go to store. Uh, let's check areas. Bar. So we just have the classic bar right now. So I think I need to expand the bar. So let's go to design this area. Yeah, let's just expand the bar up to there. Then we can go to store, throw down another bar, and hire a jaded night owl, a mathlete amateur juggler. Oh, there's two, two bartenders at each bar. Okay, I see why that might have been a problem. Cheater, drunkard, smooth talker, drunkard. Okay, we're gonna need you. This might be... At least that one's a smooth talker. Okay. Two cans... Can serve you two cans if you head over to the bar. Okay. That should stop people from getting thirsty. Reputation's up to 44. Happiness for miners is 55.8 out of 6. Okay. It's rounding to 56. This is all under secure your treasury, which means make more money. Uh, it looks like a lot of things are busting down. So let's... A PhD math lead pickup artist, but witless. Glenn Olsen. All right, you can be a custodian. Okay, we'll keep things fixed. You know, surprisingly, with me just slap dashing things down... We're starting to get something that kind of looks like a casino. <laughs> you know, you keep scattering the decorations around. It does actually begin to work. Let's go back to the store. Decorations. I want to throw down another palm tree there. 
And that should... Oh, there's not really a lot of decoration at the back of the arcade or by the bars. Large dresser. Sure. Adds a bit of class, right? Just a, is that facing the right way? Yeah, should be, right? Bonsai? Put a bonsai in the corner. Hmm. Well, that won't fit there. A leafy plant. Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, satisfaction is up. Money is up. Reputation's just one short. Uh, we should be able to boost our reputation by just running for a little bit longer. Oh. Uh, one guard is taking a break. I probably should hire another guard. Bottomless bladder bodybuilder. Perfect. And is there anything we can add to the restroom? I haven't actually checked. Uh, locker, locker room? Anything? No, just more lockers. Entrance? No. Restroom? No, just loos and small sinks. Are the... Oh, those are... Okay, we do have two custodians. It's okay. I should probably check. Are we making money? Yes? No? <laughs> uh, no. We haven't really been... Maybe I've been just spending too much, right? I've been buying a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Employees. Labor, labor cost per month is 3,000. Okay. You've unlocked several items from the store. Nice. A large chair. And an astronaut painting. I feel like the arcade is a suitable spot for that. Oh, can't be placed. There we go. Astronaut painting. Perfect. <laughs> All right. It seems like people are sort of rushing to the restroom, but it's not. It's not busy. It's okay. Ah, if you. Click on the the area itself, you can adjust. I, I assume that affects all the slot machines. Cancel, select an individual one. Yes, so if you select the area, you can change all the slot machine settings right here. It's so like if you select the area, you can change uh, the the game rules right there for all of them. That That's a nice touch. That's already implemented. High roller who's a high temper. High rollers are always welcome. They bet big, lose big. Right. Look, that's... It's the name of the game. Let's bet again. I lost. Okay. We broke even. Uh, <laughs> see, in, in this game, the implication of the house always wins is... The, the implication is that you run the house here. But the actual house is the game. <laughs> I, too, am a player. Okay, so now, go beautiful or go home. Time to shine. Get clients to spend 12500 We've got that going. Setting up all these rooms. We've got so many people in here. Reach casino reputation of 65. Get a standing score of 6 in the entrance to get tourists to come to your casino. Oh, is the... The outside... Oh. 60% satisfaction for tourists. So a new type of client, tourists. So this this is the entrance area. I just realized we can actually decorate out here. Uh, uh, people are eager to spend their money. A standing score of six. Does that mean... Oh, rocks? Ooh. Tiki column. Lily pond. Can I build things out here? Can I move... The casino side. Actually, can I redesign? 
uh, design. Oop, nope, clicked on the guard. Slots, dice game, restroom, bar, break room, arcade, roulette. Okay. I think I can decorate the inside of the entrance area here. So standing score. It might be the decoration. So let me just try throw down. A lily pond. Yes. Okay. So it's correct. Uh, and then let's throw down... Tiki columns. Good? Yes. So this, that score is like the decor score. I really want to move this. To the... Okay. You know, this cage feels a little less secure than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> the cage is only on the front. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just go on a trust system <laughs> that, they, that they don't steal all that cash lying about. <laughs> I guess it's fine. Okay, so we're going for 60% satisfaction for tourists. So tourists should be... Yeah, there we go. Tourists. Uh, they they actually bring in a bit more money. Tourists are looking for a change of scenery and will therefore pref uh, privilege... Prefer tiki decorations. Oh, right. Tourists want to have fun. That's why they will favor mul multiplayer games such as craps table. There's no fun in being alone. My tire, therefore their drink of choice. Can I choose the drinks? Lager? Add drink to serve? Can I? Old fashioned. Ginger ale? We we don't have uh Mai Tais available, but we could give them ginger ale. Uh but they, they want craps tables, so let's go to design. New area. Wait. Craps is card games, right? So it's craps is a card game. <laughs> we got blackjack table. So they like tiki stuff, right? Ooh, we can do tiki bars. Okay, let's trash that bar. And let's put in upstairs, right? We could build an upstairs, but first let's get a tiki bar. Wait, how does this tiki bar work? Oh, like that? Okay. Do I keep my staff? Let's add you in. Let's add you in. Okay, we got a tiki bar. That should boost satisfaction for tourists. Uh, they like tiki decorations. So under decorations, what what's tiki, tiki vegetation? Ah, yes, there we go. Let's just throw one of those there. Tiki vegetation corner. I need to move this thing somewhere else. There, just look at that. Okay. <laughs> Not really keeping things organized, but okay. Uh, but... Oh, look at all this stuff. Fake vegetation walls. Okay, good. Okay, we've unlocked, like, a lot of things here. Stairs. Cost 5,000. So what happens if I just pop stairs down? <gasps> there are flaws. There are flaws. I actually didn't know that was implemented. We've made a floor. Can we go up again? No. Right now we're stuck at two floors, but that's okay. 
it does look like they're, they're planning to implement more floors. I don't know what I would do with another floor. I'm kind of still just... <laughs> okay, um... There are three tourists in here. You can tell they're tourists from their... <laughs> camera. Satisfaction. So this, this standing score, it's just... They get happiness from just being there, from just standing there. Thief in the pit. The count is lower than it should be. Too low for it to be a dealer. It's one of your cashiers. Time to act before the others notice and start lining their own pockets. Rough them a bit. All your clients lose fun. All clients lose fun, but they know they're being watched, but you gain a bit of money. Turn a blind eye. I'm gonna let it slide because I don't want my cl my clients to lose fun. This this casino is getting crowded though. Look at it. So many clientele. Uh, what's our current? So the satisfaction score is a 32 out of 60. Our reputation about to collapse due to lack of fun. <laughs> lack of we have all these games. Do we not have enough games? Lack of restroom. Uh, I guess I could set up a roulette area upstairs. Ooh, dice game area. Let's do dice game. Just big dice game area right here. Store, areas, dice game. Right, this is for the tourist. Craps a dice. <laughs> tiki craps table. Right, this is what we need. Multiplayer tiki games. And Yahtzee. Oh, these things take up a lot of space. Uh, let me try and move these over a bit. Up to the window. Uh, let's get a couple Yahtzee tables. Uh, let's do decorations, and they'll want tiki decorations. Uh, okay, lots of plants, yes. Uh, what other tiki decorations can we put? Tiki columns? Nice. Tiki bench. By the stairs. Okay, good. Tiki torches. Can I squeeze any of these in? Okay, that should be good. Uh, these we need to hire people. Let's hire a smooth talker. Camel and bottomless bladder. This person just doesn't deal in liquids. Okay. Wow, we got so many people in this place. Immediately upstairs was, was filled up. Okay. Satisfaction dropped down a bit. Um, I think we need... I suppose multiplayer games will cater to more people, right? So if I... Maybe I should just make this area huge. It's really... How do I... Right, I gotta move... This. Uh, design... This area. I've grabbed the person. Oh, there's a maximum size, I think. Okay. Um, so I think instead of expanding this area, I create another area. So exit design mode. Design, new area, another dice game area. Just set up a whole new one. Store, areas, dice. Set up two more. 
Set up two more. Higher. Well, we don't have much choice. Okay. There. That should keep more people busy. Do we need more benches? <laughs> Lack of fun. You know, it feels like you have a lot of space. But then, as you build things, it really does just sort of... Is this trash? People are just leaving trash around. I guess I never put any trash cans, but still. Like, this second floor, we filled up half of it. Just immediately. <laughs> and we're going broke. <laughs> we are not... We're not making enough money. Uh, can we get to 60? How much? I haven't even been looking at the cost of these things. I mean, they're pretty expensive. Satisfaction for tourists is up to 46, though, so it's kind of working. There's eight tourists in here. Casino reputation hit 65, so I think, uh, th th yeah, this is having the problem where our reputation is so high, we're just sort of bringing in so many people. I don't know if I stop spending. Balance over days, weeks. Yeah, this, this yellow line is our profit. Ah. Uh. Employees. 4,500 a month. I think I gotta fire some people. Uh, sorry, Lake Solomon. Sorry, Hobie Moore. We need the rest, right? Oh. Are these two bartenders not actually working? Okay. That might cut cut, uh, cut some costs. Uh, 3,500 monthly income. Income. High roller who's a high tipper. Right. Do we gamble more money than we have? <laughs> we could double our money or end up in negative 500. Oh, this one, we could just have our staff be worse, but we immediately gain 3,000. This is the safe bet. This is the safe bet. I don't want to just lose right here. I'm just... I'm just going to sacrifice the quality of my staff. <laughs> go big or go home. I don't want to go home yet. Give me the 3,000. That might, that might save us. Does it cost money to repair these things? There we go. Fixed it. Okay, we've almost got the 60% satisfaction for tourists. Alright, downstairs is looking a little bit more cleared out now that I've filled up this floor. A tycoon game having betting choices is a great idea. <laughs> like, it's a casino management game, but it, the events present you with your own bets. It is a good idea, actually, yeah. I do hope they, they continue to develop how that all works. That that way you also feel like you're part of the you're part of the game. Uh, okay. So so far, the game's I've unlocked the tiki wall lamp from the store. Nice. Oh, I did actually to the goal. We're going for a casino reputation of 80 now. Have the casino be worth 
$80,000 in items to get the mobsters to come. Okay, that's the, uh, I think it means 60000 And then 60% satisfaction for mobsters. So we just have to boost... Okay, decorations. Greek fountain. Bam. And now mobsters are gonna come. So let me look at the clients. Mobsters. So I think there's currently three uh, types of clients in this demo. Our tourists love the place. I built so much tiki stuff. Look how, how happy the tourists are. <laughs> tiki crafts table. That's exactly what you want. Multiplayer games and tiki themes. Perfect for the tourists. Now the mobsters. Uh, okay. Mobsters in a casino are like children. You're happy to have them, but they can be extremely hard to deal with. <laughs> Games are a serious matter for serious fellows. One needs a classical Greek decor in order to be able to enjoy the finer things in life. Mobsters need to be taken seriously. Forget about cheap decoration. Meet their standing expectations or they won't play. They won't play if the decoration's not good enough. Serious business cannot be made with cheap or sweet drinks, only strong, serious alcohol. The only cocktail allowed is the old-fashioned. Nothing better to close a deal? And a game of blackjack with your associates. Mobsters are no losers. They might end up threatening other clients if they lose too much money. So this is where security comes in, huh? Alright, so they like... Um... Oh, nope. They like... Oh, what was the game they like? Blackjack. So that's cards, right? Uh, tiki blackjack table. Do we have a... Wait, blackjack is cards, right? Uh, space Greek blackjack table. Okay. So I want to replace all of my... card tables here. Get rid of these cheap decorations. I want to uh, expand this card area. Nope. Uh, oh, sign. This area. Expand the card area. Go to store. Go to card games. Greek blackjack table. Just have four of those put down. Hire these croupier. Well, we don't have much choice. Uh, let me double check employees. Card game area, dice game area. We have eight dealers. Okay. Mobster's Paradise. Ah, yes. <laughs> um, so I want to keep them happy. So I guess... I don't want dealer win ties, right? So they win a little bit more. And then we want... Right, sorry. Uh, decorations... Uh, Greek stuff. Greek stuff. Um, so I got these Greek columns around. Small temple. Doesn't really align with anything, but sure. That's Greek, right? We can throw a Greek couch. Looking at the small temple. Uh, so not tiki stuff. Big Greek statue. Which way is it facing? It's an animal. I actually can't tell. <laughs> Where's the front? Oh, it's a toucan. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's an armless toucan. 
Um, than a normal Greek statue. Ah, it's just it's just a bust. I see. Greek wall lamps. Nice. I can have that Greek column there. Let me just move this over. This is now tiki decoration, so let's just not have that near that area. Uh, store. I want to get another Greek. Ooh. High roller who's high tipper. You know what? Just, just give me the 3,000. Screw my staff. <laughs> Let them be completely unaware. I'm sure there's going to be no consequences for that. Okay, I've made a Greek area here. That should be pretty high standing score, right? Oh no, the mobster happiness is going down. A single mobster is in your casino. There's 20 tourists here, though. Ah, uh, okay. It is blackjack, right? Yeah, blackjack. And the drinks? Oh no, they're going to a tiki bar. <laughs> Do we have a different kind of bar? Greek bars, yes. Okay, let's let's trash these bars. We're gonna keep. Uh, I think it's not registering. It's you know it's fine. Our old staff for the bar. Let me just check uh, my casino employees. Security host, bartender, bartender. Oh no, they are fired. Okay, so we just have one one spare. Okay, now these drinks, we need to serve old fashioned, and old fashioned. Right, so old fashioned is available at the Greek bars. The mobsters should should be perfectly happy. Look at all these Greek columns. We got rid of all that tiki stuff. Greek bars serving old-fashioned. What else could they want? There's four mobsters in here. We are actually making money, though. So this this graph right here... Um, it's... Uh, it's total. It's not current, I think. Now let's go to days. So income is up here. Oh, we're actually making money. Look at that. Okay. We're not going bankrupt. Okay. The Tiki multiplayer games. Very good. All right. Mobster happiness. I think it went up a bit. It was 23 just now, right? <laughs> this staircase is getting a bit too much use, I think. <laughs> okay. There's six mobsters in here. Now, if they lose too much... Oh, there's just trash everywhere. Um, is there a way to mitigate this? Neon Greek column. Does that count as Greek decoration? <laughs> or is that a bit cheap? <laughs> uh, trash bin. Let's just... Throw maybe a couple of those around there. Like manually cleaning these. This custodian struggling to keep up. Okay, okay. Gotta get your hands dirty.
I think all this trash is pulling down the standing score. Ah, mobs of satisfaction up to 31.8. Okay. Casino reputation of 80, we're at 76, so we need a bit more reputation. If the mobsters get happier, that should boost our reputation, right? The Greek bus at Dodo's, not Toucans. Oh, so they are. They're Dodo's, not Toucans. Good catch. Right, the Toucans shopper bigger beak. These are Dodo's, right. <laughs> It's a pretty good joke that an ancient civilization is represented by an extinct bird. That's I, I did not realize that. That's actually, yes, that's so subtle. I love it. I, I actually love the arcades on fire. Yeah, I think I need another custodian. I mean, you can do it manually. Okay, there we go. Mobs of satisfaction, it's, it's trickling up. We're actually making tons of money now. Look at that. Ah, yes. We've got to the, the point. We're actually exploding. See, just just like a week ago, we weren't really making money, but now, now we're doing it. All we had to do was get the mobsters in, because there's now nine of them here, and the tourists are so happy. Okay, maybe I, I maybe that was my problem. I went a bit heavy on the tiki, so the tourists are so happy, but it wasn't great for anyone else. These Greek bars look good, though. Your clients are savages, and they are destroying your toilets one by one. That's what they do in malls. Start ch charging them for toilet trips. Invest in your custodians. You lose 3% of your total money. You know, we can actually afford to give our custodians plus two agility for seven days. That costs 557, no problem. I do feel like we don't have enough toilets for this crowd. Now let's build another toilet. It's something I always fail to do in, in these games, <laughs> building enough toilets. Uh, restroom, okay, let's, let's set up a restroom here. Okay, there is a max size. Let's do that. Uh, is that the door? Oh right, I did. I did hear there might be some uh, issues with toilets. Uh, let me click on this. Just delete area and items. Move area and items. Okay. There we go. Rotate the whole area. Fixed it. Uh, item store, areas, restroom. Have at it. You know what? Let's throw it in. Half barrel with flour. So see, there's, there's categories for things. Decoration, tiki. Just normal decoration. Decoration, Greek. Gold molding. <laughs> sure. Um, decoration, space. So th there's probably a whole group of people who like space stuff. Tiki bamboo screen, lily pond, 
small temple right in the middle of the bathroom. Perfect. There, if the mobsters use that bathroom, they're gonna love it. Classy Greek bathroom. That should keep things a little bit clearer. Okay, custodians seem to be keeping up with the trash now. Our reputation's not really hitting 80. But the mobsters are happier. But the, oh, the, the miners are not. They just want a cold light beer, but if it's above $5, it just doesn't taste right. Are we not serving any cheap drinks? Oh. The drinks are all expensive. So we don't have a cheap bar. So we actually need to set up a different bar. Up here. A cheap bar. Let's set one up here. Store. Um, areas. Bar, 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 bar. Just have some classic bars. Uh, yep. Hire whoever's available. Not particular. Drinks. So yeah, different bars serve different drinks. We can add... So we can add Old Fashioned to these bars. So if the mobsters drink here, they'll have their favorite drink. <laughs> so, geez, so many people want to drink. Okay. <laughs> Everyone was, was dying of thirst because the drinks were too expensive. <laughs> the drinks are downstairs are like 10 or 15. No, they were 15. Production cost 10. So there were no cheap drinks. Oh, everyone just swarmed these bars. It's like some spills here. Let's clean that up. Okay. All right, so that that should there we go. Immediately our reputation goes up. Very nice. Oh, these guys are really unhappy. Oh no, the the mobsters are going down in satisfaction. What? Why? Don't you have everything you Your clients are getting bored. Are there just not enough games going around? Let's hire another custodian to keep up with things. Um, yeah, maybe it's just there's too many people. How do we keep uh, people like... We haven't done a roulette area. Let's set up a roulette area. So we'll do this. Store, areas, roulette, roulette tables. This should keep people busy, and it's something new. Anthony. <laughs> These are trying times. Your clients are very lucky, or you are very unlucky. Oh, we're, we ran out of money. The mob's on your back, and even your employees want a piece of the cake bigger than the baking pan. You've already asked your mom for some change, but you don't know. She won't you know she won't give you another penny without saying something about your life choices. <laughs> Ask your mom for some cash. Whoa! Our mom's loaded. 25,000? Is the bear our mom? <laughs> yeah, we, we're setting up roulette. That's something new for everyone to play. Any Greek craps table? Oh, the mobsters are really unhappy. Uh, we do have Greek craps tables, so I guess we should... Trash these tables. And replace them with Greek ones. Ah, 
Um, roulette, roulette, card game, card game. Uh -huh. Right. Come back next week for new employees. <laughs> okay, so we don't have any employees yet to hire. Uh, you can't just delete things and rebuild them. Uh, people are getting bored. Okay. Uh, hi, Rella, who's high tipper. You know what? We keep running out of money. Just give me the cash. We've got everything. Casino reputation's up to 80. But the mobsters just hate it. Can we see progression? So these are the progressions. Oh, the happier they get, the more stuff you get for them. I see. So if they get up to 50% happiness, you actually unlock things. Any staff to hire? Yes. So the craps table are now Greek. I don't know if that's going to be enough to keep the mobsters happy. I don't think there's a way to track individual mobsters. You just sort of have to look for them. Like, mobsters just have a look to them, right? Like, how do they dress? Is this a mobster? What is this? I don't know what that symbol means. Satisfaction. It's like, generally people are happy. Okay, wait, satisfaction for mobs is going back up. Let's speed it up and then see the trend. Like, does it continue to go up? I mean, we're serving their drinks. We've changed the decor to what they like. It's sort of floating around 30%. Uh, up to 38, that's good. Up to 40. Up to 46. Okay, okay. I, th I think that the changes we did are working. Alright, so we're just going up. 10 more points for the satisfaction for mobsters. How many mobsters do we have? 20 mobsters are in here. The miners hate it here. They, they just hate everything. I think they hate the decor. They hate the prices. They hate the games. But tourists... Oh, that's gone down. If I check tourists' progression... Oh yeah, so we, we're unlocking these things because we were hitting the happiness. They did actually get to 90%, so we unlocked everything for tourists. But they're less happy now because we changed things from Tiki to Greek. And these tourists, well, they like the tropics. They don't like Europe. <laughs> uh, mobsters usually have one hand in their suit jacket. Joke. <laughs> mobsters are in the striped suits, right? So like, there they are, yeah, yeah. yeah. These are all the mobsters. So we, they're all here playing. We changed these to Greek and they're happier. Oh, they also have cigars. I'm trying to identify... What bird is this? Okay. I, I think we did it. Cheap bars. Uh, ah, see, okay. So the mobsters are getting drinks here. They also have the old-fashioned... But this mobster just ordered a lager. <laughs> Why? I thought you guys liked old fashioned. Fine. Drink what you want. Ah, we did it. We unlocked a modern art sculpture from the store. Modern art sculpture. Ah, I think we can gamble this. We won. Oh, and we completed the demo. My score, 219,780. I don't know if that's good or bad. 
It was like pictures of your casino. Uh, but before before we end, I want to look at the decoration we got. Where were, What did we unlock? It was a modern sculpture. Modern art sculpture. This is the grand prize of the demo. <laughs> it's very modern. I bet it's also an animal, right? It looks like two ears and a nose. What animal do you think it is? Modern art. <laughs> Personal best. Uh, there's a nice little depth of field effect as well when you zoom in. Yeah, enjoy the sculpture. Look at that standing decoration, standing score. Yes. Okay. Uh, anyway, that is our little foray into Blooming Business Casino. Uh, the management... So, oh, look at the bar. It's just filled up again. Uh... A business management tycoon game that is just having a free demo right now, which if you'd like to check out. They sponsored me to check out this game and I'm into business tycoon management things. So, so click the link and check out the free demo, right? Uh, no need to commit to anything. Just give it a try yourself and see if it's a game you want to keep an eye on because then you can wishlist it and then see how it progresses into release. Uh, so far, I mean, it, it sort of, it fleshed out quicker and more than I thought because the the space seemed very big to start right it seemed like there was a, there was a lot of space to play with but then very soon it was like oh we, we should open up another floor and then that filled up half almost immediately so <laughs> I, I think as the game develops you could get bigger maps expand to new buildings more floors more stuff. I mean, this is just three clients and they're already hinting at more because there's stuff in the decoration, which is space and there's no client that's asking for space stuff. But you know, it, it sort of worked out okay. Oh, my profit has tanked. Okay, well, fine. Uh, we're still making a bit of money as long as I don't spend anything. Um... There were rescue funds from our mom, so that helped, uh, but yeah, um, we almost avoided debt. But anyway, that's going to be it for our encounter into Blooming Business Casino. Go check it out, the free demo. It's uh, uh, French developers and it it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Uh, and I'd be interested to see how far they take this because th there's a lot you can do with this sort of game, right? I'd like to see like 15 client types and I'm trying to think of what other games you'd have in a casino. But I'm sure there's still a lot that we haven't used yet. Right? That, that's a lot of things you could do. I'm excited to see where it goes. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining. Thank you to Blooming Business Casino for sponsoring this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting. Mahjong, oh, ooh, oh, ooh. That's Zen, that's a good uh, I wouldn't mind some some Asian games being thrown in there. Mahjong, Mahjong table. Yeah, I'd be into that. It, it's just another theme, have an Asian, an Asian thing, right? Hmm. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Um, there should be a button here where you can... Uh, it, it's the referral link as well. It should take you straight to the Steam page or just click the link down below. Good? Good. Thank you all so much for joining. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye!